All right, guys, we're getting one step closer. Uh, we got that done. Except I didn't, I thought I had gates or hinges for it. So, um, I didn't, but I thought I did. So, I haven't finished it completely. Just got a couple more boards to put up. Aside from that, we have to put a little bit of water in the pool. Just because after a couple of weeks splashing and splishing and splashing, our pool loses water. So we fill, fill her up maybe every three weeks. We put some water in here. And we can't put a whole lot just because just because our our ah, just because our our well is not that deep so we're only putting we only put about 15 minutes worth of pull and they trying to see what time it is but of course I can't see it And I gotta keep it on top somewhere where I can hear it, otherwise I'll forget to cut it off. So that's why it's there. Cause otherwise I'll forget to cut it off until it runs dry. And we all know that's not good. It's happened before. But it just collects water. Once you cut it off, it'll collect water. But you definitely don't want to keep running, running it low. Uh, where am I at? No, wrong way. Where is this thing? I can't even see the hole in the TV. Well, that hole, the water normally reaches the top of the skimmer. Now it's right there. Another thing we, we did. Uh, we moved the deck over here. We moved the steps over here. Because we added that little pool for Marianne. Our little Mexican version <laughs> pool slide. Let me hear a chicken. How did that chicken get out? Is that the chicken from yesterday? Chico, is that the chicken from yesterday? That we spent like six hours looking for her? doesn't look like her I'm gonna go see um but 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 like I was saying we bought this pool I made this slide and then we just secured it with some boards around it we just put some boards hold on let me get in here around the bottom so it doesn't move around I mean she, she firm she's not moving around she could kept getting on it and it was just it wasn't moving because all the weight either goes forward or back and we got that one preventing it from going forward these boards prevent it from going side to side and with her weight her weight pushing it down it just keeps it, it just keeps it steady so I'm sure I could have probably just done the out edges right here up to here but it works fine. She steps here, gets on it, and then slides into the pool. Once, once it's wet, and we just move the steps over here. This is just a PVC pipe that we attached to hold on for her to hold on to it when she's getting out of the pool. And just lock the cage. 
So no animals need to go in there. Like Cheeto. And drown. I'm not going to say that. I don't think that's the old chicken that we were looking for. Because we lost one yesterday. We couldn't find her. So we assume she just got carried away. Oh, for this, uh, I don't know how many people got this, this water fountain, but we figured out, we, it, we figured out that if you put this noodle behind it, or this, this, um, thing, whatever they're called, it prevents it from vibrating so much. This noodle right here helps it a lot, because normally it's like that, and it would just, with the pressure, it would just keep moving like this so much. So we stuck one of these things here. And it gets rid of all of it. Let me show you. Well, let me show you without it first. Here. Turn on the pump. And we'll show you. You see how it looks like it moves? Maybe not a whole lot. It doesn't pick it up a lot on camera. But it is. And then you stick one of these noodles back here. I don't know. I just feel like it's, it doesn't move a lot. As much at least. So look at this water. That is so awesome. We are in the uh, first week of July and the water is start, starting to get cold. I mean warm. I like the water to be cold. But it's starting to get warm. And that, that, that thing actually makes it feel like it's a little bit cold. Without it, the water just feels a little musty, honestly. This thing sucks all the water on top. A lot of hair. All the kids were in here yesterday. Yeah. There's a lot of debris. But what with, with the water that is that is like the best thirty dollars spent. Somebody rec somebody recommended it on YouTube. I think it was an Amazon and eBay has them for like $30 and it's honestly the best thirty dollars you can add to an above ground pool. It looks so cool and they can, you can adjust them. You can have them go straight up or straight forward and you can adjust the pressure. Just the best $30 thing. And this is our first pre-mark, our first bill for this pump. You can raise it up. Also seen it on YouTube. Something like this. And our waste hose. It's a little messy. Normally we try to keep it over here somewhere. So it doesn't look so bad. But when we stretch it out, it just goes into goes into back there where the dog is. The water leads more that way. But there's nothing but trees. Trees and deers and dogs. No houses back there. But this is our first setup. And it doesn't really keep out the water, so what we're thinking 
what we're gonna do is replace this with sheet metal or, or metal panels and just use these for the side somewhere like I did here because on this side it wouldn't get wet but when it rains hard water will still get wet right there as you can see so I'll just end up putting these on the side and just put a regular sheet metal that matches that building which is green well look at this look at this look at this I love it if you want to adjust the pressure hold up mm. that's one thing I hate about the pool that you get all kinds <coughs> all kinds of little bugs that end up in there drowning oh gosh it's like never ending sorry but look you adjust the pressure Look at that. See? And that all that does is just rotate the water. Circulates the water so much better. Hold up, let me get this. Bees, I hate having, I hate catching bees in here. Sorry guys. Yeah, they did. <laughs> Look at that. But normally, I just like the way it looks. Oh. That I have to have it. You want to see how high up and how high up it goes? Check this out. Check that out. Them tree branches are at least 20 feet, if not higher, up in the air, and it touches them. Of course, it leaks more when you do that because all the water building up right there. But I just cut it back soon. And this leaks, but it doesn't matter because it's just going back into the pool. What concerns me is this little leak, but only when it's only when you close this part. I mean, the pressure is tremendous. Look at that. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So, if you've got an above ground pool, get you one of these joints. And then get you one of these two steps for your two step slides for your kids. I got it off of, off of uh, Facebook. I used off of Facebook $80. My baby girl loves it. I'm sure there's a weight limit. They got to be under 60, 80 pounds. Alright guys, that's all I have. All I have. I got to go check on this chicken to see if that's the one from yesterday. 
Where she go to? Because we're looking for her. Let me see. It does look like her. Where the heck have you been at? They're all in here. What's up? What's up, people? Oh, we're making this walkway. Let me put it like 